resurrection by the blood of Jesus. We've been taking this time to meditate on the power of the blood of Jesus. Uh, and here's another thing that the blood of Jesus has done for us. The blood of Jesus protects us. In the Old Testament, we find that the blood of the Passover lamb was used during the plague to protect the children of Israel. I'm going to read for us from Exodus chapter 12 and verse 13. Now the blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you and the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. So the blood of the Passover lamb protected the children of God during the plague in Egypt. Uh, and today we understand that Jesus is that Passover lamb. Because of the blood of Jesus, every uh, attack of the enemy, every scheme of the evil one, any plot uh, of Satan against us, you know, we don't have to, to worry about those things. We don't have to try to hide. Our best protection is to understand the power of the blood of Jesus. When we, when we pray prayers that say that uh, uh, I, I cover my family with the blood of Jesus, uh, I, I cover my child with the blood of Jesus, what are we saying? Uh, the faith that we have, the truth uh, in, in the word of God which is revealed to us is that the blood of Jesus is greater than any Passover lamb that the people of Israel knew. Jesus is the ultimate Passover lamb whose sacrifice God has accepted once and forever. And so Jesus being the Passover lamb and his blood being upon our lives is the greatest form of protection. No evil one can touch us when we walk with God. I'd like to read another scripture for us. This is in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. It says, therefore purge out the old leaven that you may be a new lump since you truly are unleavened. For indeed Christ, our Passover was sacrificed for us. Jesus is our Passover lamb and his blood speaks protection for us. As Psalm 91 would say, no thousand may fall on uh, my right or 10,000 on, on my left. I'm not going to be afraid. Why? Because God's blood, the blood of Jesus stands as our protection. And where the blood of Jesus stands, no evil one, no enemy can trespass. And so we, we can find cover. We can find our refuge. We can make the blood of Jesus our fortress. As long uh, as we are, we have faith in the power of the blood of Jesus, we know that uh, a mighty work uh, of protection is being done for us. Uh, and so I just encourage us to put our faith, to put our faith in the blood of Jesus and the protection uh, of the blood of Jesus, no matter what may be happening. No, let's not uh, uh, go into fear. God's word, repeat, God's word repeatedly tells us, fear not, fear not. Because God is our protector. The blood of Jesus is our protection. Uh, and particularly when we go against the enemy, any form of spiritual warfare, uh, we go from a place of knowing that we are firstly protected by the blood of Jesus. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O oh God, that you are our, our, our ultimate protection. Father, that your blood, O oh God, protects us, God, from every work of the enemy. God, uh, we, we cancel right now, O oh God, Lord, all that uh, Satan wants to do against us. Father God, thank you that no weapon formed against us will prosper, O oh God. And every tongue that rises against us, Father God, we, we condemn, Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, it's all possible through your precious blood. And God, we just rejoice in the protection that your blood has bought for us. Lord, we honor you. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.